Hey everyone, welcome. I've turned auto sync off on all of my devices right now. And I think it's primarily because I use multiple devices and I haven't seen the battery drain issue. It was other issues that were happening for me. So when it launched, you would have everything trying to sync all at once. So if you opened your device, it tried to auto sync right away. So if you opened your flip cover, automatically it was going to auto sync. Anytime you opened the web app or the desktop app, if you had auto sync enabled, it was going to try to auto sync. So everything was trying to communicate with the cloud at the exact same time. And when I reached out to Rada, they said, whoa, if you have more than one device, that's going to cause a problem. We suggest turning auto sync off on at least one device. It's not a big, as big an issue on the desktop app and the mobile app, I think, because I don't tend to open all of those at the same time unless I'm demoing something. So for daily use, if you have auto sync on and you use one device, I think it should be okay. What I think the auto sync push from the device is, and this is just me as a layman and knowing how uh, cloud services work from an educational perspective, but I think what's happening is every time you make a change and the device auto saves that change in a notebook, or in a task or to do or whatever it is. And it's important to note that the to do and the actual notebooks sync at different, they, they sync differently. You can enable auto sync for to do and not have it on for the files. So I think it's important to remember those two things. And once you do that, I think that kind of illuminates why this keeps happening or why this changes and why it's trying to sync. As you're making changes in those notebooks, it's trying to keep the files up to date on the cloud so that when you go then to the desktop app, it's a seamless experience. I'm not saying they've gotten there yet because obviously there are some kings. My issue was multiple uh, conflict files and it wasn't syncing to the cloud or it was syncing to the cloud and not down to the desktop app or it was syncing to the device, but not the cloud, not to the desktop app. So there were a lot of communication issues. I think the biggest thing now is if you keep the auto sync off and you manually sync, I've seen a lot less issues. Now, that doesn't mean in the future we don't want them to get that right. And I'm just a little hesitant to turn it back on because of what's happened. Uh, but at the same time, doing the manual sync, which I always liked on the SuperNote device, to be honest, really worked well. And I think reaching out to support anytime you have these issues is really important because there is nobody who is is interested at supporting you as a user in this space than Supernode is, that Rada is. I mean, all of the issues that I was having were really, it was amazing. I, I put in a ticket, I heard back on the ticket, but I also put something in Reddit and then Mulan reached out to me immediately. And all of a sudden, I was working on the back end through Reddit, through direct messaging, talking to them and the team about, hey, how do we fix this? What are the issues? Can you send us more screenshots? Here's a patch. And I mean, it was, it was really amazing to see the level of engagement they were not just working with on me. And I hadn't done a video on this. So it was just a user on Reddit making a comment. And I think that that was uh, really helpful.